Hey everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. So today in this video, I will be sharing the best OBS setting for the recording to get the clear recording and this will also fix the blurry recording problem. So let's start with clicking on the settings here. On the right hand side, click on settings. And here first we have to make some changes in the video section. So from the left hand menu option, click on video. And it says base resolution and output resolution. Now here either you can go with 1920 into 180 or you can also go with the 4K resolution. But it will depend that what kind of resolution currently you have on your monitor. So in order to find out, right click on the windows icon, click on settings. From the left hand menu option, you will have to click on system. Click on display. And here in the display resolution, you will find your current resolution. And this is what I would recommend you to go with. Even 1920 into 180 is also recommended. So if it's being selected to any other resolution, then change to 1920 into 180. Do the same with the output resolution. Common FPS values, you have to keep it to 60. And then from the left hand menu option only, you can come to the output section. From the top output mode, you need to change from simple to advanced. Now we don't have to make any changes for the streaming. And in case if you need a video for the streaming, then you can let me know in the comment section. So now you have to click on the recording. Type will be standard. Now below in the recording setting, by default, the recording path will be selected to this location. Now, if you want that your video should be saved to any other destination, any other location, you can click on browse, go and choose that particular location, click on open folder, and it will be saved to that particular destination. Next will be the recording format and you have to make sure that you select to mpeg4.mp4. However, you will find many other options here. Like you can also go with the fragmented mp4.mp4. But first I would recommend you to go with the .mp4 option. In case if you don't find any difference, you can also switch between fragment mp4 or mpeg.mp4. Video encoder. Now if you're using the NVIDIA, then you have to choose the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 that probably you will see in the drop down here. But if you are not using NVIDIA, if you have AMD, then you can go with AMD HW H.264 AVC. And in case if you don't have both of them, then you can go with X264 that also gives you a better quality. Audio encoder you have to select to FF MPEG AAC. The audio track will depend that how many track you want to be enabled. Like in case if you do any kind of game recording, you also use your mic, you also use your discord or you also use your browser to record anything. So for multiple track, you can choose a multiple track from here. Now generally if you do the normal recording like using your mic and recording your desktop, then you can go with one or two track here. Rescale output will be unchecked or disabled. Automatic file splitting will be again unchecked. Then you need to come to the encoder setting and it's a really important setting to improve the quality of your video. So in the rate control, you basically get two different options. That is the most important one like the CBR and the CQP. If you want to go with the CBR, you will find the bitrate option and higher the bitrate will be, the higher quality you will be getting and even the size of the video will be higher. So if you are recording in 180, then you can go with at least 16,000 to between 18,000 kbps. But if you are recording the 4K video, then you can change it to around 24 or 25,000. But I would also recommend you that instead of CBR, try going with the CQP here. And the CQ level, you will find a level here. Now this will be opposite to the CBR. The lower the CQ level will be, the higher video quality you will be getting. And again, for the 180, I would recommend you to go 15 here. Then the keyframe interval, you have to keep it to 2 seconds. The preset will be quality or slower, better quality, whichever option you see here. The profile will be set to high. Max B frame will be selected to 2. If you find any option of psycho visual tuning, then you have to check it. And if you also find the GPU option, then you have to make it to 0. And that's it. Once you are done, now you have to click on apply, click on OK. And also make sure that you have updated your graphic driver, which you can do again by making a right click on the Windows icon, click on device manager. Look for display adapter here. 
look for your AMD graphic or whichever you're using Intel, right click on it, click on update driver, click search automatically for drivers. Additionally, you can also update the driver from the website for which I have already created a video. You can check that. Now, once you are done with all these quick settings, after that, you will find that the recordings are improved and giving you the high quality videos without any blurry effect. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. If yes, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.